a very funny comedian from Ohio. He's starring in his own Comedy Central Half Hour special, which premieres this Friday. He's a regular performer at the Comedy Store in West Hollywood. And this Wednesday through Saturday, he'll be headlining at my favorite club in the whole world, the Comedy Magic Club in Hermosa Beach. Please welcome John Capo Caparulo. John Caparulo. <laughs> All right, hi, yeah. I was watching, uh, I was in backstage, I was watching Jay's monologue. I wish, I always wish I could be one of those guys that tells jokes about the president, but I don't know anything. <laughs> Is that bad? Like, I don't care. Like, I, people guilt trip me all the time. You see what Bush said today? Did you see his speech? No. <laughs> How could you miss that? I guess I got more channels than you do, dude, because, uh... <laughs> It was not Nickelodeon, all right? I don't care. Right? I'm, what about the education system and gay marriage? I already graduated. I'm not going to marry a dude, all right? I don't care. Why, I'm watching SpongeBob, all right? Whatever. I don't care. My, here's my political crusade, all right? It's 2006. Can we just get along, please? Can Coke and Pepsi just be in the same building, please? Just for once, all right? We all know they both exist. Every time I go to a restaurant, what would you like to drink? Can I have a Coke? Oh, is Pepsi okay? Is Canadian money okay? Because no, all right? No, it's not the same. It's never been the same. <laughs> all right, I'm tired of it. Why? Why do, they have, why do they still have orange popsicles? Why? All right, who are we kidding? Nobody likes them, all right? You're like, right, you like the grape and the cherry, and you eat all the grape and the cherry, and then all you got left is orange, and your mom won't buy new popsicles, because why didn't you eat the last box? Because all we got is punk-ass orange, all right? That's why I didn't eat the last box, all right? I hate them. All right? I wish people would stop inventing stuff nobody needs. Like, I, I, like I wish, does anybody watch infomercials? I don't know, I do. Yeah, I don't know if you guys, have you guys seen all the ones for all these new mattresses now? All these new beds? They're incredible, they're designed by like NASA and stuff. Who's having as much trouble going to sleep? Why is it so, I fell asleep on a ladder one time. Why is it so hard to fall asleep? It's a bed, all right? It's flat, there's a pillow, shut up, all right? It's not that hard to fall asleep. There's people fall asleep driving and you can't fall asleep on a bed, all right? Why is it so hard to fall asleep? <laughs> and can anybody, do you guys know how to fix anything? Is it our generation? Like, I don't know how to fix anything. Like, my dad could fix everything around my house. I can tell you what's wrong with it. Yeah, it doesn't flush, all right? I don't know how to fix anything. Like, my dad still thinks that I know how to fix stuff, because I always had to help him, like, in the garage and stuff. Like, I'll call him if I have a car problem, you know, and he'll always be, you know, he's always like, oh, I taught you how to change oil. I'm like, you taught me how to hold the light and get yelled at, all right? <laughs> That's why, yeah, I can't fix it. That's why I don't work, all right? Look, I'm too, <laughs> dude, I can't go to work. I'm too lazy, dude, all right? Look, when you go to bed and start setting your alarm clock for PM, I mean, really, why, why even set it at all? I'm setting it for like 1.30 the other day. Well, I don't want to oversleep or nothing. I, uh, <laughs> I can't go to work, dude. I've been fired from everything. It's like, come on, it's, uh, most jobs I've had, it's like, come on, dude, really? I mean, for 6.50 an hour, you're lucky I'm wearing pants, all right? Look, I don't care. All right? Like, I, got, I was working at a golf course. I was a groundskeeper at a golf course. My boss actually said to me, hey, Caparulo, how come you missed the meeting? Because we cut grass, all right? That's why I missed the meeting. What do we need to have meetings about? We do the same thing every day, dude. It grows, and you cut it, and you try not to get stung by a bee, all right? That's all we do, all right? And there's, those guys are miserable. I never wanted to be those, one of those guys who's just miserable to be at work. You know, like, those guys were completely, like, my first day at work, you got to show up at the crack of dawn to do this stuff. Like, the guy, the first day at work, the guy's like, you want a beer? <laughs> dude, it's eight. <laughs> Hell yeah, I want a beer, all right? <laughs> Let's get this party started. <laughs> you know, I can't do I get bit by a swan. <laughs> you don't really recover from that either. Like, that's a, who do you trust after that? You know, like, I'd rather, <laughs> I'd rather get attacked by a bear. You get attacked by a bear, yeah, you might lose an eye or something, but you got a story at least. You know, like, what do you say now? Where'd you get that scar? Swan, swan, yeah. Yeah, there were feathers and stuff everywhere. <laughs> I've never had a job I could be proud of. Like, every job is, like, humiliating. Like, my first job, I worked at Subway. Oh, dude, it's the worst. Why do fat guys need everything on their sandwich? Why? <laughs> it's just a sandwich. They come in, give me lettuce, tomatoes, pickles, onions, olives, both kinds of peppers, give me oil, salt, vinegar, bacon. You want cookies on your sandwich, too, dude? Because, uh, I can't even close it now, all right? I... 
Why are you so rude? I didn't know I was making Thanksgiving dinner for you on a bun, right? It's a sandwich, right? It's not a nuclear war. <laughs> That's my time. Thanks, you guys. Thank you. Thank you guys very much. I'm sorry I tripped over your name there. Oh, no, Capirulo. everybody did. There it yeah, is. I know you're out on tour, right? That's... I was on tour. I was on tour with Vince Vaughn. We did uh, 30 days, 30 cities. It was ridiculous. We, uh, I don't know if you've ever done it. Like, we were on a that bus. That Wild West tour. Vince yeah. Vaughn, yeah, comedy We show. didn't get a break, like, every day. We, like, you sleep on the bus. Like, I don't know if anybody's ever slept, traveling. Like, every day I would wake up in a new city. It's like I'd been FedExed, you know? <laughs> Wake up in Milwaukee, you know, like it's it's weird. It was uh, it was a cool tour though. I I hate it. I don't know if you ever done a bus tour. Yeah. Like yeah. it's really like it's and I felt bad because like when the because they did a movie like there's a movie coming out later this year about our tour and like I feel bad because I'm the grump on the bus because like everybody else was really happy like we get on the bus and it was like a million dollar bus but it's a bus, you know. <laughs> like every, all the other guys get on like wow we got a sink. I'm like so does a porta john. I mean really I don't want to live there. Either, dude, you know, <laughs> every crowd. It was uh, we had we had 65 per to 70 percent female crowds. Oh, that's, that's good. It was awesome. Yeah, everybody's like, oh, I bet you got so many chicks. I'm like, oh, I bet I didn't. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, like we're on tour, on tour with Vince Vaughn. He's a celebrity. I look like I'm there. I look like I'm there to fix the dryer. All right. <laughs> John, we gotta go. Good set, buddy. John Capirolo. We're right back with you.